Well, I'm the founder's daughter, and also I'm a member of the board of directors for the past three years. It's rather an interesting story of how he started his own business, as he worked for another pharmaceutical company, and he did so well in his territory that the president cut back his territory. My father quit and said, I'm gonna start a company where that never happens. And that's how Marion Laboratories began. His philosophy about business, it wasn't the money that he was trying to make. The money just came as an accident. It was the kind of a business he wanted to begin. And I think that's the big thing about entrepreneurs is it really isn't the money that they're out to make in the beginning. It's the business and moving ahead with the business. Some of them don't even have time to fool with the money. I learned everything from my dad. I took everything I could and I've tried to keep it all because he was the smartest man I ever met. I had not realized it until many years later that I got the Ewing M. Kaufman School of Business or my MBA in my teenage years at his feet. And uh, it was the best education I could have ever had. What really drove him was giving back. He really believed in giving back. He used to lecture me about this as a young girl, that you give back, give back, and it will come back to you tenfold. And he's right. It's really true. When you give, it comes back to you tenfold. And he was driven to start this foundation. He didn't feel any family should get this kind of money. He, he thought it was a waste of money for it to go to some children who'd spend it on cars and houses. So he wanted to leave a mark, and that's what he did with the foundation. 